The physical climate around Antarctica forms a really tight web of interacting systems and our biggest fear is that abrupt changes in one part of that system will flow through into all of the others. It's a vast, icy continent that's home to unique wildlife, but Antarctica is no longer frozen in time. We're seeing uh, really worrying changes starting to develop across the ice and the ocean and the biological systems in Antarctica. New research published in the journal Nature says rapid, interacting and sometimes self-perpetuating changes are being observed in the polar region, including unprecedented reductions in the extent of sea ice in recent years. We've lost areas of ice somewhere between the size of New South Wales and Western Australia. The report says deep ocean currents around Antarctica are slowing and the melting of ice shelves and glaciers is also nearing a tipping point that could trigger several metres of sea level rise. <coughs> Antarctica's plants and animals are also being impacted, including the iconic emperor penguin, which scientists say could become extinct by the end of the century because their breeding sites on the fast ice are no longer stable. The long-term consequences for emperor penguins are not looking good. It's basically no safe place to go for them anymore. The report says it's imperative to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but warns it may already be too late to prevent some of the impacts of human-caused climate change. Even if we are able to, to stabilise uh, climate at close to 1.5 degrees and not go too far above that, there are some changes that we may have already set in motion that we can't stop.